So by the end of this video, you are going to have all the tools you need to get your film poster created by a professional today. The movie poster I had was like this blue, like take place at night in the city. I actually liked it, but it looked like something straight out of Transformers. Megatron Prime! It looked like a Transformers poster. Hey everybody, Alan Northern here, just going through filmmaking tips and tricks and post-college life advice. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a movie poster, or more specifically, I'm going to teach you how how to get your movie poster made. But if you're an indie filmmaker, indie film producer, I really don't want to mislead you and say, go ahead and make your movie poster because there are just so many reasons why you should not make your movie poster. Quality control, don't do it. You're biased, you made it, so it's like you don't know if it's good or not. It's, there are just so many different reasons. And also a graphic designer will do it a thousand times better than you. They will just have a vision and they will create that vision. And you will just be blown away. I remember when I had my movie poster made, I could not even picture how good it would be. <laughs> Because and it and it's leaps and bounds better than anything that I could have created myself. I know I'm a filmmaker, but I am not a graphic designer, and that's the first thing that you should know. Don't try to make it, please don't. Don't try to make it. Hire a graphic designer; they are so much better. You can get them on the cheap, and I'm going to tell you how. So by the end of this video, you are going to have all the tools you need to get your film poster created by a professional today. So please watch till the end. So the first step is to refine your palette. So you wanna grab 10 to 20 film posters, movie posters that you really admire from popular films that have been really successful, some that you really, really like. So just grab 10 to 20 of them, just so you can have in your brain a broad picture, a broad scope of what your film poster could look like. And like I said, this is more so to refine your palette so that when you see your movie poster, you can be like, uh, it doesn't match up, or ooh, it looks, looks like it could be in concert with these 20. Because when you put your film on iTunes, Amazon, Netflix, or Hulu, your movie poster is gonna be side by side with all these other movies. And if yours sticks out like a sore thumb and looks like a then uh, that's not gonna be a good thing. So this is the great step. Don't forget step one because it's super important. Refine your palette. Your movie poster is one of the most essential marketing tools of your film. And this helps it so that you can exercise your quality control muscles. So you want at least 10 movie posters in your genre of the movie poster that you wanna create. And the other 10 could be from whatever genre. Second thing, what is your film's tagline? If you're trying to create a movie poster, then your tagline has got to be in your movie poster. So if you don't have a tagline, take a look at my video on how to create a tagline. It's, <laughs> it's right here. So please, helps out the channel. <laughs> and also give it a like if you like what you're hearing. The tagline is gonna be right on your movie poster somewhere. It should be strong and it should be intriguing. And also your poster, keep in mind as the director or the producer, indie filmmaker that you are, is that your movie poster should have continuity with your log line and obviously it should be in concert or in dialogue with your tagline. So that when your potential customer comes up and sees your poster, boom, tagline, boom, and your log line, boom, because they'll see it all in one place on iTunes or Amazon, all of them should be in concert with one another. Just keep that in mind. So now we're gonna go through the four kinds of movie posters that exist. If I missed one, sorry. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you the tools to get it made by the end, but wait till the end, don't worry. So these are the four kinds of movie posters that I've noticed ever. The first kind of movie poster is the essential scene. It's a beautiful or quintessential shot of your film that you think that's that 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 is you know what symbolizes my movie. It's a beautiful shot on screen that visually symbolizes your entire film. So if your film doesn't have a quintessential scene that has beautiful imagery and that highlights what it is, you can also make it up and write it down because your graphic designer might be able to composite two images together and make them look damn good like it did in the coming of age film Giant Little Ones. That scene never happened in the film, but they <laughs> made it look like it did. Um, and it also screams what the film is about. It tells you what it's about. The second kind of movie poster I like to call the essential concept. And this is a visual representation of what you believe defines the film. In essence, what our hero has to overcome or their greatest obstacle immortalized. Like we see in The Dark Knight Rises when Bane is holding Batman's mask or Batman's mask is broken on the ground. I'm not quite sure what it looks like, I forgot, but it looks something like that. And the third kind of movie poster is a hybrid of the two, the essential scene and the essential concept, and combines the two. I'm gonna go back to the Dark Knight Rises movie poster because it epitomizes this, because that scene also happened in the film. And that was a big point in the film where Batman realized he can't operate in the same way. And that broke him, broke his character down. And so that was an essential scene and it was also 
Batman's Greatest Obstacle Immortalized had Bane in it. The fourth kind of movie poster is what I call character mashup. You'll see that a lot of superhero movies and a lot of adventure sci-fi like to use this kind of movie poster. You'll see it in Star Wars, you'll see it in Avengers. A lot of coming of age movies use this character mashup kind of movie poster. You got The Bachelors and you got Perks of Being a Wallflower and a slew of others. And so now we're gonna go through the next tip in creating your movie poster, and that is what is the color scheme that optimizes your story? So something that'll help with this is just watch your movie. Watch your film, see what colors pop out to you, and see what colors look the most beautiful, look the most vibrant. And you do want the genre to dictate what the color scheme is of your movie poster. So the color scheme on your movie poster is gonna hint at horror, drama, suspense, action, thriller, so definitely watch your film and see which colors in your film speaks to you. So now you've got to find your talent. You've got to find your knockout graphic design artist who can just completely just blow you away. And you can find them on Fiverr.com. That's a really, really great resource that you can use. I found mine on Fiverr. If you want to go in the comments, I can tell you who did it. Um, but, you know, just ask me a question I can answer um, you can find a really great graphic designer on there and this is where the other steps that I've mentioned previously come into play because I refreshed my palette had a bunch of examples of what I wanted to look like and I've actually hired someone on Fiverr who wasn't as good as the next person who I hired on Fiverr you have to look in quality control what you want your movie poster to look like because there are people who aren't as good on Fiverr and then there are people are, who are really great on Fiverr. And I found the guy who was really, really great on Fiverr um, because the first guy I hired wasn't too good. The second guy I hired and was, the second guy I hired was incredible. And good news is you get your money back so don't worry about spending your money and wasting it. Fiverr gives you your money back if you're not satisfied. So that's Fiverr.com. The second resource is Upwork.com. Great resource great resource. You can find a slew of graphic designers who will smash it when it comes to creating your movie poster. In both cases, they're going to ask you for three, uh, three or four or five photos, uh, three, four or five screenshots. That's another thing. You've got to have screenshots. If you want your movie poster to involve screenshots, definitely have five screenshots ready to send over to your movie poster guy so that he can create something nice. So after you went on Fiverr or Upwork.com and you've got it made, final step obviously is quality control. Definitely quality control. Look at that thing and say, does my movie poster measure up? Is it blowing me away? Is it crisp? Is it clear? Does it look amateurish or does it look good? The final question that's super important that you should ask is, does my movie poster represent my film to the best of its ability? And that could do with the colors, that the graphic designer decided to use or that could do with the overall feel of your movie poster. So I actually had a quick story. I had an experience with someone who probably the second person. Okay, so I hired three people on Fiverr. Uh, first person was really, really bad. Second person was better and really good, but I felt that the kind of movie that it was the kind of, I'm gonna post it here so you can see what I'm talking about. The kind of poster that it was, it just was not an accurate representation of what my film was. So I didn't end up going with that movie poster because it didn't represent the color scheme of my film accurately. So it didn't give the audience an accurate representation of what they'd be watching. So that's a big thing that you've got to watch out for. The movie poster I had was like this blue, like this seemed like it would be like take place at night in the city like cityscape and I'm like, it's not, it's not my film. Like it, it looked beautiful and I was kind of distracted by the beauty of the movie poster because I actually liked it, but it looked like something straight out of Transformers. Megatron It looked like a Transformers poster and my film is not anything like Transformers. <laughs> so the third guy that I found, he blew it out of the park and just made it just, oh my God, just made it beautiful. Um, and hopefully now you can see it. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of legwork, but you can get it made pretty quickly. They work pretty fast because they want their money. Uh, so <laughs> it should take you no longer than two or three days for them to make it or five days at the most, most. Um, and the final quick tip is definitely let your graphic designer know what your film is about. Give them your synopsis, give them your logline, definitely give them your tagline because they'll need it. Uh, <laughs> 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. See ya.